Uh, <sighs> and the exhale. That's like the most exercise I've gotten since March is all these dance parties. In past years, I actually do like a uh, a cardio and stretch workout routine before Desert Bus. Because I know how physically demanding it gets, which is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> I've been training for weeks. And then this year, I didn't even like... I don't know. I didn't even fix my sleep schedule. I can't say Desert Bus snuck up on me, but when I look at the amount of prep I had, I was not ready. <laughs> the trick with I the may sleep have, schedule... Uh... Go I may on. have not prepared for these dance parties in this Kiyu. I am very yeah. warm in this room right now. <laughs> That's fair. What was your question there, Paul? Oh, I was just going to say, the trick about the with the sleep schedule is even if you don't prepare for it, after the first couple days, it kind of gets it's like itself jet lag. happened. Yeah, it's like, it, it's like if you weren't going to bed at, you know, 9 o'clock or whatever, so that you can wake up at... 4.30 or 5 o'clock. Your body will let you know. Then then after a couple of days of waking up at 4.30, 5 o'clock, uh, you kind of get it worked out. It's weird. I had a terrible night's sleep the first night. I got like four or five hours because our call time was 5 a.m. or whatever. And then the day after, I was exhausted and got like a, nine hours. I slept like a baby. And then last night, you're like, oh, good, you recovered. So you want to stay up to your normal? I'm like, no, please let me sleep. And it definitely mm -hmm. feels like traveling. Like we've traveled the desert bus, even though I'm in my own home of trying to shift everything here. 